everyone. It is uh, 8.22 a.m. Eastern Standard Time here on March the 14th. Kind of early, but I wanted to show you uh, that even at this early moment in the morning, uh, we're at 1,267 watts of power. Now, the uh, this is a critical moment right here because I'm going to show you on the camera what's happening with the battery is that we're still uh, producing current, but you can see that we're actually at the very lowest part of the battery uh, and it just now switched over to charging. So uh, that's very interesting, right? Because the solar part over here, let me refresh this. There, okay, so it's uh, basically not, not pulling anything from the grid that that we can check the the actual bill later on but uh it's very low and then uh you can see that the solar is uh meeting the uh the need you can see the cross right here where the the purple is battery power and then uh you can see that uh there's a there's a moment where the solar is, is taken over and then, you know, it's going to go back and forth for a few minutes just because it's that transitional period of time. But I can delimit all this stuff. I can get rid of the state of charge. I can get rid of the battery. And that's the actual load. So there's some sort of heat demand that came on. Uh, and so that's what we're seeing like five minutes ago there. And then, uh, but the PV, you can see against the grid, it's starting to, starting to come up. So this this will continue and so the difference is, is being met by, you can see the, these two add up to the uh, the total load. So I just wanted to show you that because it's very interesting to see on a daily basis. It's it's too early right now to be charging uh, any electric cars. So uh, they're both uh, scheduled for 10 a.m. when there's more solar power available. And uh, as you know, or maybe you don't know, the... Uh, the, this one charge station is plugged in directly to the solar uh, array uh, via the inverter and so it controls how much electricity goes to the car. It's, it's already set up for two-way communication so that the car could actually send uh, with the right charge station could actually send power back to the home that way. So that's, that's all very interesting. But just wanted to do a quick uh, review of like what's happening at this time of the morning. And you can see, again, uh, that battery number one is going between zero and now it's discharging. All right, so the lady just went upstairs and so she's probably hit the hot water, <laughs> no doubt. And then this guy right here is uh, doing its thing as well. So I would say this is pretty tight. You know, it's like really on the close side. Oh, I wanted to show you this too. So the fully charged, these uh, battery cells are 3,400 millivolts. So look at this, 31 millivolts. That That's not even half, you know. Uh, so this, this battery lives in a very tight range and there's plenty of power in here. It's, it's not going down, it has not gone down to actual zero at all, which means it'll, it's just artificially programmed not to go below a certain point. And uh, I find that fascinating, right? It's it's for to maintain the battery life over a long period of time. Remember, these batteries are warranted for like over a 10 year period of time. So there you have it. Thanks. Let me know what you're thinking.